the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. Someone kicks down your door, they're breaking into your house. If you have time uh, to get a gun, when seconds matter, the police are minutes away, and in some neighborhoods, they're not gonna come at all. And so you're on your own. In many situations, the gun can be the equalizer. If you follow the news, you know that whenever there's a mass shooting, uh, that immediately you get two different reactions from Democrats and Republicans. Uh, Democrats will immediately talk about gun control, and uh, Republicans will talk about uh, lawlessness and, the, and criminals. Those who want gun control would like, uh, some of them want to remove all guns, all guns, uh, even the guns that police officers would carry uh, that would be ridiculous, and it's something that the American public doesn't want. And even those liberal, progressive politicians that argue for uh, gun control, uh, they have armed guards. I guarantee you they have armed guards, and those guards are carrying guns. They're not carrying knives, they're not carrying bows and arrows, they could kill you too, uh, but they're carrying guns. The right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. And the Supreme Court has ruled in favor of protecting uh, the rights of the people to have guns. But I can tell you that there are many people that believe that Americans should not be armed at all, that individuals should not have guns in their homes. And you hear about red flag laws. Well, what are red flag laws? Well, they're part of legislation that's even pending in Congress uh, as I speak for gun control, where if someone reports that a person, you know, they may be, they think they may be suicidal or maybe a, a spouse or a boyfriend or someone uh, related to them says, this person is dangerous, the police can come to your home and take your guns. If you have red flag laws, they could actually go into your home and take your guns. Um, that uh, doesn't seem consistent you know, with the guarantee, the right to bear uh, arms. For those that say that people that are contemplating suicide, you should go into their homes and take their guns, um, you know, that's a tricky kind of situation because if you have someone who's determined to commit suicide, they will find a way. It doesn't have to be a gun. There's so many other ways that you can uh, take a life, your own life. The whole idea that you would have uh, the government coming into people's homes, removing their firearms, that does not seem to be consistent with the intent and purpose of the Second Amendment. But when it comes to the infringement of a constitutional right, I think we have to uh, uh, be very careful not to allow the federal government to take more of our rights as individuals. When you think about uh, the criminals, the criminals are not going to come and give up their guns and there are people that have stockpiles of weapons. And some of these mass shootings that have taken place, they've taken place in situations where you have an unarmed group of people, whether it's school children or whether it's people in the grocery store, and you have one person that has a gun that's taking everyone out, uh, it, it can be stopped, and it has been stopped by customers or other people in the store that are armed, they have weapons, they know how to use them. I have a gun license, I have gotten training, uh, and I think it's important for people to be able to arm themselves, especially women, because there's so many situations uh, where you have criminals that prey on women because men tend to be smaller. The gun is the equalizer. Someone kicks down your door, they're breaking into your house. If you have time uh, to get a gun, you're gonna stand a better chance because we've heard the expression uh, when seconds matter, the police are minutes away, and in some neighborhoods, they're not gonna come at all. And so you're on your own. And so it's absurd to believe that we should take away people's guns, that, uh, and, and, and it's ludicrous for those people that to argue that we shouldn't have any guns. Uh, this was Senator Howard Metzenbaum. Not sure what year he made uh, this uh, statement, but he said, if you don't ban all guns, you might as well ban none of them. And so all guns, I mean, what, do you, what would happen? I mean, how are you supposed uh, to deal 
with people that have guns. Uh, people will have guns and it's important for the public to be able to protect themselves. And I would encourage people, you know, get training. Don't have a gun that you don't know how to use. So make sure that you get training. And um, our society has become so lawless and there's so much crime and any of us can be a victim of crime. But uh, in many situations, the gun can be the equalizer. And uh, black people have known that, you know, that's how they protected themselves uh, from the KKK and people that wanted to take their lives at certain points in history. Um, what's so unfortunate now is that there is a lot of gun violence. Law-abiding people need the guns as an equalizer. Uh, we cannot rely on the police because there are not enough police. We are driving people from law enforcement and we're creating a more dangerous society. Another point I'd like to make about a gun control laws. There's some that say that we could reduce uh, the crime rate if we had strict gun control laws. I've already argued or made the point that criminals don't care about gun control laws. You can post on your business, uh, don't bring guns in, have the gun, have the circle with the uh, X across it. Criminals are not gonna go and, and take their guns back to the car. Uh, in fact, they may be more likely to enter because if you have people that are unarmed, uh, they're easy targets. People who commit violent crimes, they don't belong on the streets with you and me. Uh, they belong uh, in jail or they belong in some type of treatment facility, but they should not be just walking around looking for victims. A strict gun control, regulating guns, and going into people's homes and uh, reducing the um, production of guns or taking away uh, the uh, bullets so that people can't have guns, where does it stop? Uh, in totalitarian societies, one of the first steps uh, of taking over a country is to disarm the population. Look at America, look at the direction we're going in and ask yourself, is there a concerted effort to disarm the American people, even though we have a second amendment that says we have the right to bear arms. Ask yourself that question. Have a question you'd like answered? Drop it in the comment section for a chance to be featured on Against All Odds.